Hi, you're right there. If you're anything like me, when you watch a horror film, you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, I could definitely survive this. In most films, I'd be wrong, I'd be the first person to go, but some films are just so easy to survive, you wonder how any of the characters perish. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some horror films released this year, 2024, and give them a survival rating of 1 to 11. A 1 being I'm going straight to the graveyard, and an 11 being I'm getting a McDonald's on the way home, I'm that unfazed by what's happened. You're probably thinking, why is it 1 to 11? I don't know, it's just funnier. Anyway, let's not waste any more time and take a look at whether I would survive these 2024 horror films. Also, slight spoilers for all of the films I mention. He's just standing there, menacingly! The Watchers is the newest film I've seen in this video. It follows a girl and her parrot as she tries to uncover the truth around the mysterious Watchers. It's an okay film. I think if you know the rules before you go to the forest, your chance of survival is decent enough. In the Watchers, there's a cube in some random Irish forest. You can leave the cube and do whatever you want in the day, but if you don't go back when the sun sets, these lanky MFs called the Watchers will mug you up. Apart from the lanky guys outside, the biggest problem is the people you're stuck there with. Give me three mates of my choosing, and we're having the greatest time in the cube, but put me in there with three of the worst kind of people, Taylor Swift fans, and I'm staying outside of the cube on the first night. Nah, guys, it's all right. I'm just going to stay outside tonight. Oh my god, a tall man! The lanky guys will also try to break into the cube when you annoy them, so they'll probably be doing this most nights with me. But it's okay, because I'll just beat them up if they come into the cube. I'm very dangerous. Nah, mate, you don't want to come in here, mate. A quick one-two will sort you out. That's what I thought. Run away. Because of all this, I'm going to put my survival rating as a 7 out of 11. If I'm pretty careful, I reckon I can easily survive this film. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? The Strangers Chapter 1 is a thief. Be careful around it. The Strangers Chapter 1 features the same three killers as the first two films, as they annoy two people staying in a remote cabin. How oh. unique. However, since this film is a prequel, the killers can't be stopped, which removes a lot of the tension from the film. I like the original Strangers film. It's a bit tense with some good moments, but Chapter 1 takes some of the best parts from the original and just straight up does them again. Once I figured this out, the film became even more boring. I would easily survive The Strangers Chapter 1 because I've seen the original film, so I just know what to expect. I'd become some sort of god in the Strangers universe due to my ability to see the future. People would come from miles around to seek my guidance. I might even get my own statue. Hello my child, have you come to learn about The Strangers Chapter 1? Ah, that really hurt. The only way I die in this film is if I fall asleep because of how boring it is. And since there's a slight chance this happening, my survival rate is a 10 out of 11. I'm fairly certain I could beat the Bagman. Quiet, please. No need to shout. No need to yell. A Quiet Place Day 1 is the only film on this list that I'm certain none of us could survive. I wouldn't survive. You wouldn't survive. The only people that who could survive this film are people that play online games and don't speak in the voice chat. Mate, I dropped my drink. Ah! Knowing me, if I survived a few days, I'd end up waking up and forgetting I couldn't speak anymore. Ah, good morning. Oh no. One thing I always wondered about the rules of a quiet place is, what happens if you sneeze, enjoy a beer and you burp? Maybe you have hay fever and come into contact with your mortal enemy a day with high pollen count. I feel like all of the quiet place films are impossible to survive, unless you somehow tell your body not to sneeze. And as someone that does sneeze, I'm gonna put my survival rating at a one out of 11. If you made it this far in the video, why don't you drop a like? Maybe even think about subscribing if you're feeling daring. Who knows, it might make you more likely to survive the next film. Sting. It's a good name. Now, Sting is probably the easiest film to stop from happening in this video. Do you want to know why? Because it follows a girl and the incredibly weird people that live in her block of flats. Thinking about it, only two of them are weird, but that's enough for me. Now, this girl finds a spider, and instead of doing what most people do when they see a spider, she decides to keep it as a pet and give it scran. This makes the spider massive and it eats the weirdos in the flat. Do you see what I mean? This film is so avoidable. All this girl had to do was... But because she's a weird kid and kept it, this entire film happens. Ignoring all of this, my chance of surviving the spider is probably quite low because I'd just be chilling in my flat one night making funny YouTube videos and a spider would just drop down on me and eat me. Not much I could really do in that situation, I can't lie. But if I knew it was coming and I geared up like at the end of the film, I could probably destroy this spider with ease. 
Now, I might be a tad overconfident here, but I'm going to give myself a survival rating of a 5 out of 11. It just depends if I know the spider's coming or not. Oh my god! You so ugly, you look like an extraterrestrial! Nah, just, just no. Literally no chance of me surviving this. I've only seen the first three Alien films, so unless the new ones are really tame, I'd rather just stay on Earth if that's alright with you. Aliens as military dons getting killed, and I'm not a military don yet. I just make YouTube videos, I don't have the skill set for this. If I did somehow find myself in this film, I'd probably just hide in a vent or a box until the movie's over, but Alien Isolation showed me that's not a great idea either. Now what the hell was that? It's actually nearby. Oh my days, why are you in here? The only way I'm surviving the alien is if I stay in a group, but even then we're probably going to end up splitting up and getting picked off because that's just how horror movies are. Guys, I reckon we should split up. It'll be easy to find the alien this way. Oh my god, yeah, that's exactly that's a what I Hello there. Because I'm not confident in my abilities to fight a literal alien, I'm going to put my survival rating as a 2 out of 11. Even that might be a bit generous. <laughs> Oh damn, I don't know about this. I think out of all the films in this video, this might be the hardest to survive. Garfield and the dog are some kind of gods and being able to see the future in The Strangers Chapter 1 just won't help me here. My only chance is to buy him his favourite scran, kebabs and pumpkin pie. If I'm able to keep him fed, I'm sure I can survive, but the second the food runs out, I'm done for. I can't beat Garfield in a one-on-one -on -one fight, so I'm going to put my survival rating as a minus 11 out of 11. And that's all the films we have time for in this video. These are also the only horror films I've seen this year, minus Alien and A Quiet Place, obviously. Do you agree with my survival ratings? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, and maybe even think about subscribing. I hear it increases your chance of surviving Garfield's wrath. I'd also like to thank my good friend Yen Payne for letting me use his tunes for this video. There'll be a link to his channel below if you want to check it out. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.